one of the things we try to do here at First Down Playbook is keep you up with the trends that are going on in college and NFL football and, and try to find ways that you can make that applicable to your high school team, your youth team, and even your flag team. And so today we want to take a look at just that. Uh, we're seeing an awful lot of um, picks and rubs, um, and maybe that's because you're getting more man coverage and you're getting more man coverage to defeat the RPO game. But for whatever reason, you're starting to see that, and we saw it again this past weekend in college football. Now, you're looking at a 7v7 flag play, and uh, we're just trying to show you a couple ways that you might be able to uh, implement this into your offensive game plan at that level. Now, you saw uh, we did a deal a little bit ago, excuse me, last week ago, and where Alabama had gotten the back out on a rub. And essentially what you're doing here is you're getting the tight end or the Y to run through the coverage, clear out this area right here, and you've got the Z in motion, and the Z will come off of the rear of the Y. But the big thing the Z needs to do is set that, uh, line right there at six yards. I mean, that's their job to make sure it's at six yards. Your center will work up and try to break right at five yards or underneath and run off of this Z right here. And so what you're going to get is you get a chance for your shot to the Y, but then you're opening up your center right in the quarterback's vision underneath that. And then your X should get a close split on the back side and come at five yards and, and use the Z for a rub as well. Now, for all you defensive coaches that are going to get mad, uh, they're, they're, you cannot block, and you must um, just run your route, hold your line. But there is the right of the receiver to, to run a straight line. And so if it's done correctly, this is not illegal. And so this is just a play action uh, deal off the flag. Now, I know some of the 7v7 guys we got out there are playing in a little higher uh, level. Now, we'll go right here, and you can see the notes. We, we've got you covered up as far as coaching points and all of that. Now, if you come back over to our 7-on-7 seven -seven or our drop-back passing game in the varsity area, you'll see very similar plays. So if you're a uh, playing in an adult league and you want uh, the field to be to scale – you can do the same thing here where essentially you've got the Z setting the line and the X coming underneath, and you've got a high-low if it's zoned, but you also have a rub uh, right here if you're getting man coverage. And once again, first down playbook takes care of you as far as coaching points, and uh, you can go and find a, an adult or a high school version here, but you also have uh, a version of flag football. There's nothing wrong with these plays right here. They would work uh, in any adult league, intramural league, or social club league that's out there. Now, where are you going to find it? As usual, when you go in the first down playbook, you can go in, you can find your flag plays down here, but if you want to find some 7v7 drop back stuff, you'll find that in the varsity offensive area right there. But just understand that rubs and uh, that type of pass play are uh, really popular here in 2019 and it might be something you want to incorporate either in your 7-on-7 or your flag football program as well.